really just tweaking to, to get into that final cir circular orbit. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, on And we're seeing now some great shots from that second stage. Um, and we saw the spacecraft there a second ago. So that, that track that the rocket has flown, it's tough to see because this is simulating, this image on screen is simulating the in, being in the shadowy part. Uh, we're expecting to have signal acquisition of the spacecraft o over around Alaska. Um, so lots to come ahead. Uh, but Philip, I want to ask you about your work because this is uh, kind of the bread and butter of your job as a flight analyst. You definitely pride yourself on getting to this point and beyond. Um, so tell us about what you do. Right. I mean, yeah. um, we really speak both languages. So we want to be able to take the work that the spacecraft team does to determine what all of their needs are in terms of where they need to be and when they need to be there. And we help translate that efficiently to the launch vehicle, who has their own process of designing the actual trajectory to get from the launch pad into orbit. So we support whatever needs to be done to make sure that they are going to be placed into the, the specific orbit safely. So there's a lot of things that LSP does to uh, just keep a grasp on the the evolving launch vehicle markets yeah. uh, to the Alaska general geography um, and we're hoping to ahead in our show bring you the spacecraft separation video live or, or close to live it'll be a few seconds delayed I know you wanted to talk a little bit about today about kind of the, the choosing of the orbit we're in obviously we had a good call out for nominal insertion burn um, so where are we and why do we choose this and Sweden but then sweep down below South America and so it's a nearly circular orbit and so it's around you know around the earth it's about 800 miles above the earth which is about 1300 kilometers and why such a long coast phase? I know that uh, for those that are familiar with rocketry, they kind of are uh, accustomed to science missions and robotic explorers having a, a coast phase that can be fairly lengthy. But why this 45 minute coast before the second burn? So with the rocket, we bring all the gas with us. There's not gas stations in the way. So we want to try and use as little as possible. And so just the way that it works is that, um, you know, we start hey, in, we, um, jump we, in there we for fly a up just in the early parts to a We're park. looking at the spacecraft separation right now. Um, I want to let you finish, but we're getting that live, and I wanted to call that out for you. So there goes Sentinel-6. Uh, that is a beautiful sight. Uh, watching it drift off there. Again, we are kind of shaded by the Earth, um, so we're not in direct sunlight at this time. Um, so that's why it's as dark as it is. Uh, if the sun were on this side of the Earth, we'd see a little bit more of that, but that's going to... 